Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Today I want to share with you how to do scale factor, which is a concept that a lot of people struggle with, and I'm just going to show it to you in the easiest way possible how to find the scale factor of a map. So this is just a random landmark that I have drawn. You can imagine this to be, let's say, some sort of lake on a map. And let's say that someone has provided us with a measurement of the width of the map in real life. So let's say someone measured this width or length or however you want to say it. The distance across the lake to be, let's say, 100 meters. Okay, uh, kind of a pretty small lake. Um, actually, let's just make it a bit bigger, otherwise it's probably a bit weird. Let's say it's 2,500 meters across the lake. Now... The question is, what is the scale factor used to draw the map? What is the scale factor of this map? If across the lake it is 2,500 meters in real life. So what you need to do is you need to write the formula for scale factor, which is the scale factor is always expressed as plain length to field length once you have this written you can't really go wrong okay because now you just follow the formula okay so once we have drawn that then what we do is we fill in the numbers that we have into this formula so i have field length is the real life length of the object okay field length is just another word for real life length and you can see in this diagram the real life length is 2500 meters and you have the two symbol in the middle okay so what is the plane length well we don't know the only way you can do it is if you measure it with a ruler. So let's bring out our ruler. And you can see it is approximately 11.5 centimeters. So let's put here 11.5 11.5 centimeters. So what you have done is you have just written the scale factor. But the scale factor in this form is not very useful to us because um, it is not simplified and it's ha it has different units on both sides. So the first thing you want to do is make sure the units are the same on both sides. So you can either convert both of them into centimeters or you can convert both of them to meters. So in this case, um, probably centimeters is easier. So you just keep the left hand side the same. And then you just multiply the right hand side by 100 to go from meters to centimeters. So it is 2500, right? One meter is 100 centimeters. Hopefully you guys would know that. So you just multiply the right hand side by 100 and then you just write the answer down and you just have centimeters on the right hand side. So on both sides you now have centimeters. When you have the same units on both sides then you don't have to write the units anymore. So you just write 11.5 to um, 250,000. Okay, so that is nearly simplified. Uh, now what we want to do is we want the left-hand side to be equal to 1. So on the left-hand side, to go down to 1, what I need to do is I need to divide both sides by 11.5. 
divide both sides by 11.5 and then I will have 1, 2, and then I just put that into the calculator. So I put in the calculator <coughs> 250,000 divided by 11.5 and I have 21739. So let's write that down. 21739 0.13 so that is the final answer so you might say well so what I found the scale factor so how does that help me well let's say now if someone says okay well what you found the width or you found the length of the lake what is the distance for the width of the lake so what if I want to know the distance from Let's use another color. Let's say I want to know the distance from here vertically down to here. What if I want to know this distance? Well, originally this wasn't provided, but now with the scale factor, what we can do is we can now again measure it with the ruler. Okay, I'll just uh, move the ruler to the right place. So it's about 5.5 centimeters. So again, I want to write down the formula plan length to field length. Okay, so this length in on paper is 5.5 centimeters. But we don't know how long it is in real life. So we got 5.5, but we don't know how long it is in real life. So how will we find it? Well, if you guys remember what the scale factor was, one unit on the plane is 21,739.13. In real life okay that's what the scale factor is one unit so however long one unit is on your map it's 21,000 something units in real life so if I want to know the field length of this um, width of the lake I just simply multiply 5.5 by 21739 all right because from 1 to this number you would multiply by 21739. So you're going to do the same thing to 5.5. Multiply by 21739. Okay, so let's put that into the calculator. So we have 21739.13 times 5.5. And I have 119565. So I have 119565.22 centimeters. Okay, so it's not a question mark anymore. I found the length. It's 119565.22 centimeters. Now, so that is the uh, width of the lake. But we have the length of the lake expressed in meters. So it sort of makes no sense if you have meters on one side, centimeters on the other side. You want to try and make it consistent. So I'm going to convert from centimeters to meters. And <clears throat> if you guys remember, one meter is 100 centimeters. So to go from meters to centimeters, you would multiply by 100. But if you want to go backwards, you would divide it by 100. If you want to go backwards, you divide it by 100. So that's what I'm going to do to this. If I divide this by 100, then I'm going to get 1195.65 meters rounded rounded 
to 2 dp if you round to two decimal places it's better to say that in your answer okay thanks for watching guys see you next time